I can't get up the stairs to get the brains. Facebook.com forward slash Kidderman's Echo UK. The Kiddy Echo investigates. Zombies accessibility rights. Resident Evil. Dawn. Not French. Of the dead. Silent Hill. Flesh eating zombies. sensitive souls. They're sick and tired of being tarred with the same brush and they feel they're being discriminated against. In Kidderminster there's a place called the Roland Hill Centre. Come the apocalypse, these living impaired people, aka zombies, won't be able to get up the escalators or the stairs to eat flesh of stupid people who have decided to hide in a shopping centre in the apocalypse. These are the two zombies that we were going to interview. The one with the black and red checkered shirt, his name is Fleur Keyskin. And the other one, the one who looks like he's fresh out of zombie school, his name is Cy Lenthill. Together they are campaigning for better accessibility in the Roland Hill Centre. It's unfair. We should be able to get up there and get the brains. Hey, why can't we have soaps? Soaps. We want slopes. We can't get up with a rigor mortis in our legs anymore. We so, need slopes. So you want slopes, you want slopes. What do you, what do you say that the council should do about this? More brains. No, more brains. Slopes. This is how they struggle to get up the stairs. We interviewed them and got interrupted by someone in a pink shirt, possibly a salmon. So you can't get up the stairs, and in the event of the apocalypse, you're not going to be able to eat flesh. No, no. Brains. Brains. What do you think about the discrimination of zombies? Get out together, man, crash! Get out of my country, skull! There we have it. Discrimination. At this point, the camera broke because I've been downloading porn on my mobile. Hmm. Anyway... That aside, we decided to ring up someone called Disabled Go. Now, they're like a watchdog, but not like Anne Robinson and all shouty, but they were quite helpful, except they weren't. But here's what happened anyway. Good afternoon, Disabled Go. Who's speaking? Hiya, how are you doing? Um, I'm just ringing up because I, I write for a local journal, basically, and I came across your website on the internet. Um, now, the problem is that there is a place called Kidderminster. Are you aware of it? Yes. We went on to talk about zombies and the living impaired and their plight. And these living impaired people are, are having trouble getting up the stairs and they can't find their way around and to get access to the actual shopping centre. Um, I'm not prepared to talk to a journalist on the organisation's views. And we weren't prepared to take this bullshit, so we pressed her a bit more. OK, you see, because the problem is, in the event of uh, the apocalypse, these people are going to kind of, like, struggle to get into the shopping centre, these living impaired people. I understand that, but I'm not prepared to make a statement on, on that individual case. Well, that was a bit of a bummer. Next, we went to the Express and Star and asked them if we could have a word. Express and Star, can I help you? Hiya, can I have a word? Yes, who with? Ah, oh, fantastic. One word's OK. Cheers, bye-bye. We took to the street again, but not before we discovered how the zombies would struggle. We passed the youth who was on a skateboard. Probably a yob, but who cares? We asked him for his opinion anyway. Your question, sir? No. Go on. Go on, then. Right, what do you think about the discrimination against zombies? Well, it's savage, isn't it? It's savage. Savage. There you have it, people. Savage. We also asked the local right, bouncer from right? Subway. Excuse me, sir, can we ask you a question? Go on. What do you think about the discrimination of zombies? Zombies? Going at Rolling Hill Centre in the event of the apocalypse. Yeah. They won't be able to eat any brains because that's where people hide. Shopping yeah. centres. Yeah, it is, yeah. 
shocking, to be honest. They should be allowed to do what they want. Exactly. Yeah, shouldn't they? Exactly. Yeah. There was a youth walking down the road listening to Katy Perry, so we had to think about zombies. What do you think about zombies? Do you hate the zombies, sir? Do you hate zombies? They don't exist. Well, they're here with me. Baby, you're a massive burk. Hmm, idiot. For zombies, we're now at the place where you will enter in the apocalypse. Now, how long has that walk took you? Take an hour. It was my first walk around. Quite frankly, I think it's disgusting. Why is it the members of the general public, especially in zombie films, which are quite obviously real, uh, do people choose shopping centres with no escape to hide from you people? Because uh, they're idiots. Maybe there wouldn't be so many empty shops if access was better for our kind. There might be more empty shops if we scare people away though. We decided to take to social services and ask them about their opinions on this. What is happening, these people who are living in pairs, they're, um, they're struggling to get up the stairs. And in the event of the apocalypse, they're, they're, they're going to have to go all the way round. Right, OK. Unfortunately, social services, we don't have any remit to cover that. Yeah, I'm not sure they're aware of the, the, the kind of like set they're having on the, the, these living impaired people. Yeah. There you have it, people. Yeah. That's sympathy, people. That's sympathy. That's what you want to give the zombies, because we love them. They would, they would have normally done some sort of, um, you know, assessment for disability access into that particular property before they actually built it. What a bloody helpful lady. We explained that zombies couldn't actually use buttons or lifts because of their jelly fingers. They've got anything. If, if you've gone through, like, lifts, ramp, float, escalates, unfortunately, I've, got, I've run out of ideas. Yeah, yeah. Well, well what I thought was, that it was a hoist. Um, there you go. You need, yeah, that's it. Then you need to put that forward to them. Yeah, because then, okay, then yeah. these living, living in pair people can actually use, they'll be able to use a, a hoist to get into the Roland Hill Centre when they need to perform their duties, when the time comes on the apocalypse. Yeah, well, that's the thing. It's speaking to them to find out where have they actually thought about this in advance. Have they thought about it in advance? Have they thought about come 2018 in the apocalypse? Have they thought that the apocalypse will happen? Have they thought that people will hide in shopping centres? And have they thought they will have a detrimental effect on zombies if they can't get up the stairs to eat flesh and thus it will kill the zombies off? And nobody wants that. Following that helpful young lady, we decided to go to the hub of information in the wire forest. And we spoke to a lovely young man who understood exactly what we were going on about at the shuttle. Hello, shuttle. Hiya, um, I'm just wondering if you've come across a story about uh, Roland Hill accessibility. Um, what, is it something that, that you've given to us before, or um, it's been on paper before? Well, no, really. I, I write for a kind of like a blog journal um, on the internet, and um, I'm just wondering if you'd come across anything like it, because it's something I haven't heard about before. Um, it's about the plight of the living impaired, who um, basically can't get up the Roland Hill steps. Um, or escalators, um, and come the apocalypse, they're going to have to go around the other way and not be able to perform their duties. Um, I haven't personally... At which point we decided to explain the whole damn story to him. Basically, picture, picture this. Two, uh, imagine it's 2018. Uh, yeah. And then suddenly, uh, you can hear this noise. Um, and the living impaired are struggling to get up to members of the public for their duties. Uh, in the Roland Hill Centre. Yeah. He had never heard of the term living impaired, a.k.a. zombies, so he told him. And what sort of the, li the living impaired? I mean, what, what do you mean by that? Well, they don't like being called by their, their uh, slang name, um, but zombies. Hello? Hiya, sorry, I'm just, uh, just writing it down. So, so what are you saying, that there's that Roland Hill needs to sort out our accessibility. Yeah, basically, yeah. Basically, yeah. 
And is this something that you sort of personally come across, or...? Well, I've spoke to a couple of people. One person called Flirky Skin uh, had a problem with it, and she was very, very worried about the problem. OK. How do the general public treat you as zombies? Total lack of disrespect. They call us dirty, flaky skin bastards. It's like we're not people to them. It's like we've got arts too, even though they're black and full of cloth. I haven't got a heart. Oh, he hasn't got a heart. He's fat, but... but still, he has feelings. But I don't have feelings. I'm totally numb. At Forest Council, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Are you going to put in slopes? Are you going to give them more brains? Like you're fucked because you're idiots. But still, you've got to think about it. And we're going to bring this up at a council meeting when we come and find you in your little council meeting having your orgy bukkakis. Bye! Oh, <laughs>